Can you hear me over his loud car? Yeah? No? Okay, me neither. Yo, 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 what's good, Ice Welcome back to Ice Sneakers. Today, we're going to the store called APB, sir. And I'm my boy Tyreek TV. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Tyreek TV. Make sure you follow me, subscribe to me at Tyreek TV, T Y R I Q T V. You already know we're coming on top of Olo. I don't even know what the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to talk about them because I do. People are going to find out who they are. They're going to get more views. So, we're not going to talk about them. Basically, we're not going to go shopping because yesterday I already went shopping. He didn't want to come with me or he didn't want to come by the store. And I bought something from the store, which I'm not going to show you guys because that'd be <laughs> dumbest purchase I've ever made hands down and you know he might buy something though mm, nah, my, my money stay in my pocket nah you know we gotta invest it invest it in mutual what funds easy, though? you know what you, have, easy, though? you got cumulative interest you know what i'm saying putting three thousand dollars now in about 65 years it's gonna be worth 65 years to what to get rich three thousand dollar investment just drop that bit you know what i'm saying about 30 60 years you know what i'm saying be about a million literally vape on the mannequins apb uh, you know boys Pop them right now. No, I'm gonna say like 40 bucks, man. For shit. Fire. Babe, all around, bro. This one, too. I almost bought these yesterday. I almost did. No, I got these. They're the same price, but this goes hard, too, but it's almost as much as the shorts. This one's popping next, y'all. Oh, no, that's not that one. It's this one. It's in the back, it has that. And maybe this one, cause just because it's sleeve. It's like that black. Oh, man, man. Tripper, you gotta look at the price. Hey, all we do is swipe, bro. Uh, you big tripper. These go hard, but unfortunately, they didn't have them my size or my size large. Mine are size medium to have on right now, but even those are like way too big. So I know I said I wasn't gonna show you guys the shorts today, but I feel like I didn't have enough content, so I was like, you know what? I'll just show you guys today. Instead of having you guys wait until tomorrow, and the shorts that I bought over there, even though you guys already saw it in the vlog, kind of, were these tiger camo vape shorts these were dumb expensive i'm glad i got them from the store which i'm gonna plug them up in a bit because they hooked it up for retail price usually these shorts go for a little bit more well, vape shorts always go for like 300 400 dollars i don't know what exactly what they go for i just know like this that's what like people try selling to me for but i was able to get these for 250 which was retail well retail was 230 and then after tax and all that it came with a 250 because Tallahassee tax is a little bit more expensive than it is down South Florida. They do still have these on the actual Babe website, so it's not like they're limited. But I really wanted a pair and I wanted them now, so I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and buy them. And I bought them yesterday, right after work, because I got paid too. So I was like, you know what? Let me just buy these shorts, anyways. And to give like a little review on these shorts, they are really high in quality. Like they have the elastic band right here, which is pretty good. It goes back. It doesn't feel like they stretch because you know when sometimes you stretch some of these things, they stay stretched. I don't really don't like that. So this shows that it has some quality. It does have the strings on the inside, so when you're wearing them, it doesn't show on the outside, which I'm not. A huge fan of i like when the strings actually do show it gets a little bit more style you guys can see it's from a baiting ape or bape as you guys want to call it unfortunately these shorts don't have the baiting ape face anywhere on them except right here on the bottom like it's like a little tag and also right there on the back tag where i showed you i wish it would have been like the camo that it's all over and like i said the quality is thick and they do have this really soft material on the inside so it's not like you're just buying any regular shorts i mean i know 250 is a lot to spend a pair of shorts and one more thing i want to say about these shorts is their sizing i bought a size medium even though there was a size small that I tried on and it fit a lot better, but it wasn't this pair. It was another pair. It had like lines on it. I put it on my Snapchat. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Snapchat to see what things I do during the day, especially like sometimes I go, I go shopping and I just like flex it real quick on Snapchat. Go ahead and scan this code right here. But going back to the sizing, this is a size medium. It does fit a little big. So when I wear them, I do have to fold this flap down. And the cool thing about that is that it makes a string show just how I like it. I don't really have too much of a problem with that. I don't understand why people say they run a little bit small. I think they run true to size. For me, the small fit perfect. They fit right above my knee. These fit below my knee when I have them rolled down like this. But when I roll them up again, they fit above my knee, which is where I like it. I don't like them to be too long because then it just makes me look shorter. So I would say these shorts are true to size. And going out to the company that sold them to me for retail is APB. They do have a lot of things in their stores. I know some of their stores sell off white. As far as the one in Tallahassee where I'm located, right by FSU, they only have like Comb de Garzon, they have Bape, they also have Neighborhood or something like that. And they have a bunch of shoes too. They have a few collabs here and there too. They have Masterminds, they have Bape collabs, Consortium shoes. Their store gives me like a really nice vibe. It gives me like a Kith vibe because when you walk in, it looks just like it because they have clothes on the hangers and then they have like shoes on the wall just like kith in new york and i think yeah miami as well they're pretty much similar and also with the shorts came the bag that the bathing ape shorts came in or bape shorts i don't know why i keep saying bathing ape apparently they get them right from the retailers i'm not exactly too sure how that whole thing worked i didn't really want to ask too many questions even though i did ask a lot of questions i kind of just didn't really understand it in the end anyways and to plug them up one more time their instagram is right there app store you can also go check them out on app.com they're not paying me to say any of this i just decided to plug them
them out because they hooked it up for retail. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, thank you guys so much for subscribing. We finally hit 20k, even though it's the 4th of December. It took a little while, but I know we can still hit 5k by the end of this month. So please, please, please keep interacting with these videos by commenting and also giving a thumbs up and watching these videos all the way through. I know before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day does go to High Dragon. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy. I think you're signing out.